So the next problem is by using bisection method, find an approximate root of the equation sin x equals to 1 by x that lies between 1 and 1.5. Here in the problem itself gives the initial approximation C A as 1 and B as 1.5. No need to go for trial and error method. So take care, it should be measured in radians. Carry out computations up to 7th stage. He declared that you have to do up to the 7th stage only. Whether it is repeated or not, do up to 7 iterations. First of all, you have to take care that if you have any trigonometric function, whether it is sin, cos, tan, cot, first of all, you have to put this calculator in radians mode. How we have to do this is, observe that, press shift button and mode button. Then you will get like this. In this radians 4, click 4, then it will convert it into radians. Some of you have this type of calculators. How we will change the mode into radians in this calculator is, Observe that mode button here. Press this mode button four times. One, two, three, four. Then you will have a display like this degree, radians, and gradient. So for changing into radians, we have to press the number two. Just I press this two button. Then observe that you will see R in the display. That means it will take anything as radians. So before saving the function in the calculator, I will save this function as x sin x minus 1. x sin x minus 1 in the calculator. So that is alpha x sin alpha x minus 1. If I take an LCM x, x sin x minus 1. So, x sin x minus to save this equation, the scale c, then it will ask what is the input you will give for x. Already in the problem, it was given that you have to take 1 and 1.5. So, I will give x as 1 here. The value of is minus 0 0.15852901.2, so on, which is a negative value. If I give x as 1.5, no doubt it will give you a positive value because in the problem itself it was given that the root lies between 1 and 1.5. So 1.5 if I give the value 1.5 instead of x I will get a positive value 0 0.49624 so on which is positive value. So by the theorem the root lies between 1 and 1.5. I will take this tabular form like this iteration numbers a which is a negative value b which is a positive value then the average c equals to a plus b by 2. Then the function, so substitute c in the function f of x, say f of c. I will check like this. So a is 1, which is which you will negative value, b is positive value. Then I will save another formula, alpha x cal c. Alpha cal c gives you the equal two brackets alpha a plus alpha b divided by 2. I will store this formula by pressing calc. It will ask what is the value you will give for a. I will give 1. Then for b it is 1.5. One point two five is the average of these two things. So if I substitute this one point two five in the given x sin x minus one, then x sin x minus one, then I will get a value zero point one eight six two three so on, which is a positive value. Observe that a here it is negative positive, then it is positive. So I want to replace one point five by one point two five. So a is same one negative value is same. The positive value will vary 1.5 to 1.25. The root lies between 1 and 1.25. So I will take an average between 1 and 1.25. Again, calculator. Go for this formula. By pressing the up arrow button here, you will get the formula x equals to a plus b by 2. So for giving the inputs, press calc. It will ask 
the value a 1 b we have to change 1.5 to 1.25 then we will get a average 1.125 now we have to check whether it is positive or negative so i will substitute this 1.125 in the given curve equation press up arrow button so you will get x sin x minus 1 then press calci so it will give uh, the value x is s 1.125 which is previously done so plus equal we will get a value 0 0.015105 which is a positive value so i have to replace positive by 1.25 by 1.125 so a is one same instead of 1.25 i will write 1.125 in b i will take average for these these two one and 1.25 again press the up arrow button x equals to a plus b divided by 2 press cal c a is one same instead of b i have to write 1.125 1, then the average is 1.0625 so i will check like this press uh, up arrow button x sin x1 press cal c so x we have to take the value x as 1.0625 press equal minus 0 0.071 negative value so i have to replace negative so instead of 1 i have to write 1.0625 and the b positive value is same 1.125 so there we have to take an average between 1.0625 and 1.125 so again go to that formula calcium a equals to we have to change now instead of 1 we have to write 1.0625 625 and b is 1.125 if i take an average i will get 1.09375 so i have to check whether it is positive or negative again go to that equation by pressing the up arrow button x sin x minus 1 press cal c to give the value already it will take x as 1.09375 no no to give so press equal button you will get a value that is negative minus 0 0.0283 so on which is a negative value so i have to replace the a value so here previously a value is 1.0625 i have to replace 1.0625 by 1.09375 b is same 1.125 let us take the average between these two things calci a is 1.0935 b is 1.125 is same so the average is 1.109375 now check the value x equals 1.1 so here minus 6.6427486 into 10 to the power of minus 3 don't bother about this value whether it is positive or negative it is negative so i have to change the value in a instead of 1.09375 i have to replace 1.109375 okay so don't bother about this bigger values but let me explain something it should be multiplied with 10 to the power of minus 3 10 to the power of minus 3 means put two zeros after one decimal if it is 10 to the power of minus 4 put three zeros after point so here 10 to the power of minus 3 put two zeros after point that is 0 minus 0 0.0066 which is a negative value so replace a 1.09375 by 1.109375 and b the positive value is same 1.125 take an average a is 1.109375 should be replaced that is 1.10 9 3 7 5 if you type only 2 to 3 decimals then there will be a slight change in the value don't bother about the values just take care about the signs only whether it is positive or negative uh, observe that these c values are the uh, our solutions so the value should be in 1 and 1.5 only take care about that if you have any mistake in feeding the equation the calculator the value will sometimes go on increasing or sometimes it will go on decreasing then you have to cross check whether you have typed it correctly or not in the calculator so 1.1375 then b value is 1.125 is same the average is 
1.117175. So again press Calc. It will take 1.117185 equal. So here the value is positive. So we will get the positive value here. Previously I told that if it is 10 to the power of minus 3, we have to put two zeros after point. So 0 0.0042. Write it. We can write like this. So it is positive. We have to replace B value instead of 1.125. We have to write 1.117185. So so A is same 1.109375. Instead of 1.125, we replace 1.11. 71875. We will take the average of these two, which is our required rule. Why? Because it is a seventh approximation. Question itself said that measure up to seventh stage only. So, no need about the f of c value. The approximate root is here only. So, take an average and we can stop there only. So, calc x equals 1.109375. Now we have to change the b value 1.11. 71718751.1132. So 1.113281 is our answer. Observe that up to two decimals it is repeating. So keep on going this value will be occurred repeatedly. So our required approximate rate is 1.113. Three, two. So we can stop here only. If first suppose if you want to check whether it is positive or negative, no need about all these things. Simply you can take Calc 1.0. It is negative. So you can write it down. You can go on like this. But it's enough. 1.113281 is the required approximate root. Here I will give some problems for your practice session. If you have any doubt. Go through video once again, do it again. x cube minus 4x minus 9 equals to 0. The approximate root is 2.6875. Just so it is an algebraic equation. Uh, in the calculator, store x cube minus 4x minus 9, uh, give the values for x equals to 1, uh, then you will get a negative value. And again, give uh, x equals to 2, so on. By trial and error method, fix the values a and b. Then go on the process what you have discussed earlier here x minus cos x equals to 0 is another equation cos x trigonometric function take care of that you have to put calculator in radians x log x to the base 10 equals to 1.2 it is another transcendental equation e power x minus x equals to 2 lying between 1 and 1.4 so the answer is in between 1 and 1.4 in the brackets you will get the answers not exactly these answers uh, approximately you, if you reach very near to these values it is right thanks for watching the video till the end thank you